Hello and welcome to today's March 31st Daily News Report. If you're a subscribed member of my community, then welcome back. I'm so glad you're here again. And if you're not, consider subscribing right now for all the best daily news reports. All right, today I want to talk about uh, some stimulus news and some dates. Also about Biden's new plan and taxing America. I also want to discuss the coming housing bubble and what's going on uh, in real estate. I also want to remind you uh, that the subscriber appreciation giveaway with 30 winners ends tonight. So make sure to register with that link below. And I really, really appreciate you being in my community. All right. Now I'm reading that today, April 7th and April 15th will be big deposit days for people still waiting on their $1,400 stimulus check. Uh, have you received your check? Uh, let me know. I know a lot of people, especially on uh, SS, SSI, SSDI, uh, they're kind of losing hope and feeling forgotten. So if you've received yours, will you give this video a like or just leave a comment? I just want people to see that others are getting their money um, and that this is not just fabricated. The money is on the way, right? Now, speaking of money being on the way, the IRS within the next week or so should let us know about the children's stimulus check program and whether that will be delayed or whether that will uh, start in July as they promised. Now, uh, it does look like there might be a way to opt in or opt out of that. Now, nobody wants to opt out of free money, especially if you're raising kids. What I mean by that is some people want to get that money every single month between whenever they start and December, and others are saying, hey, I, I just want to take it as a lump sum uh, next April when I file my taxes. So they're trying to make that available, okay? I'll have more information about that as, as it comes out. Now, there's a lot of talk about raising the corporate tax rates on U.S.-based businesses from 21% up to 28%. Yesterday, I discussed the pros and cons of this. However, one big area the government might place their focus instead of taxing their citizens to death uh, is ensuring companies like Amazon and others aren't able to continue to get away with paying zero dollars in tax every single year. One of the hottest companies of 2020 was Zoom. Uh, I personally use Zoom all the time. However, it was discovered that Zoom paid zero dollars in federal tax while making $664 million in profits and revenue during the pandemic. Now, this was mostly accomplished by issuing stock to executive officers and employees that can pay that tax at a future date. So I, I see why people are angry at large companies like Amazon and Zoom that are finding ways to not pay taxes. However, small businesses that can be destroyed by heavy taxation uh, are, are still being hit with these high tax rates. So there has to be a balance between how much to tax a large, uh, successful, profitable company versus a small company because small companies uh, employ about 50% of Americans, but heavy taxation cripples their ability to grow and pe keep people on payroll, while companies like Amazon, Zoom, and others are paying zero dollars in tax while raking in billions or millions of dollars, okay? So should the government focus on taxing citizens at a higher rate during this pandemic, or as money is already tight for most families, or should they focus on taxing companies that are making hundreds of millions, if not billions of dollars uh, on their fair share of tax? Uh, let, let me know in the comments. I, I would really like to know what your thoughts are. It seems like taxing Amazon or Zoom could be the equivalent of taxing hundreds of thousands of American citizens. So again, let me know, let me know your comments. Is the government focused on taxing the wrong group? Okay. Now, earlier this week, Volkswagen Cars announced that their new focus would be on electric vehicles and overtaking Tesla as the electric car company of the future. It said that it was going to change its name from Volkswagen to Volts Wagon, 
uh, to emphasize volts or electricity. However, last night they announced that this was an April Fool's joke. Now, <laughs> being the fact that it's March, uh, I'm not sure that the folks at Volkswagen understand that you can't play an April Fool's joke to get media attention in March. It just doesn't work, right? <laughs> All right, so either way, the car maker is not changing their name. But you might want to keep an eye on their stock because just by announcing that they were going to focus on electric vehicles, they saw an over 10% bump in their stock overnight. And if they are able to overtake Tesla, then that could be a stock that has an incredible rise over the next decade. The 10-year treasury yield hit an all-time high yesterday uh, for the first time in many years. It's at 1.72%. Uh, as the yield rate rises, usually interest rates rise. Uh, if it rises too fast, this could trigger inflation. Now, are we entering a real estate bubble? The United States uh, and Canada have seen real estate jump between 23 to 28% in the last 15 months. But none of this was based on wage increases in those areas that saw the most growth, uh, which means that we are most likely entering another real estate bubble. It could also mean that instead of using gold to hedge against inflation, uh, as I've mentioned uh, in the past, more people are using Bitcoin than gold as a hedge against inflation or risk. It is believed now that many people might actually be using real estate as a hedge against inflation uh, and the US dollar losing value. However, if we are entering a real estate bubble and it pops, these people could lose tremendous amounts of wealth in a short period of time uh, as it's not the same as uh, hedging against inflation with Bitcoin uh, or with gold, just because real estate can expand or contract without really being um, correlated to job growth or wage growth over time. Now, new data shows home prices had their highest one-month increase since 2006. Uh, in January, San Diego real estate rose by 14%. Seattle real estate rose by 14%. Phoenix had an all-time high, which rose by 15%. The last time we saw real estate shooting up this high was in 2006. And guess what? 2006 was right before the Great Recession when the real estate bubble popped. So just be careful, okay? Be very careful right now if you're looking into buying a home, especially a higher-end home. Uh, real estate could be a bubble that's about to burst in the future, or it could just be a hot commodity that people are buying up right now. Only time will tell. Maybe let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, by the way, I just want to say thank you so much for always giving these videos a like. I love bringing you the news. All right. Now, the former head of the CDC said in an interview that he believes the COVID virus may have leaked from a lab based on how well it transfers from human to human. However, the WHO and China continue to say that the virus jumped from a species of bat over into the human species and it just happens to be one that does really well between the two species, okay? However, just yesterday, General Tedros uh, Gebrisis, I, I'm sure I made that name wrong, uh, who heads up the WHO, admitted that the, the leaked from a lab theory hasn't really been investigated and that there are 13 countries that believe the virus coming from a bat is a weak hypothesis. So more could be coming out on this story uh, as, as this is actually researched. Now, President Biden's new infrastructure bill will be revealed today. It was supposed to be fully revealed last fr Friday, but the trip was delayed, and so was the announcement of the bill. Right now, we know about uh, where $2 trillion will go. Bridges, roads, airport, and other infrastructure projects which should create millions of labor jobs, management jobs, and project jobs across the country. The other $2 trillion and how they will pay for this $4 trillion stimulus bill will most likely be revealed today. As I know more about that, I'll definitely come on and, and tell you more about that. All right, now, uh, speaking of uh, April Fool's Day, it's tomorrow. 
I'm curious uh, to know in my community, do you like April Fool's Day jokes or do you find them annoying like me? Let me know in the comments if you like them or hate them. Just say I like them or I hate them, okay? Uh, hopefully tomorrow won't be too wild for you. All right, now speaking of April Fool's Day, starting tomorrow, you can enter a giveaway on Chipotle's burrito website to win either a free burrito or $25,000 in Bitcoin. Chipotle has partnered with the Bitcoin guy I told you about several months ago who can't remember his Bitcoin password and has hundreds of millions of dollars locked away. Uh, this was a way of this man taking a comical shot at himself while also promoting Bitcoin and free burritos. Uh, I'm guessing that he believes at some point he will remember his Bitcoin password. So why not continue to promote Bitcoin so that by the time he remembers, it's worth more? <laughs> All right. Now, a few key things happened on this day, March 31st in history. Uh, the unveiling of the uh, Eiffel Tower in 1889. The United States bought the Virgin Islands for $25 million from Denmark in 1917. Uh, in 1918, on this day, the United States uh, went through the first year of uh, daylight savings time, which I hate daylight savings time. Come on. It's been over 100 years. Get rid of that already, right? In 1940, LaGuardia Airport in New York opened on this day. And in 1980, President Jimmy Carter deregulated the banking industry, which led to lots of uh, hyperinflation and interest rates rising on houses to almost 20%. Pretty crazy stuff. All right. Now, this is my update for today. As I know more, I will definitely come on and share more. Uh, make sure to sign up for the subscriber appreciation giveaway with 30 winners. That ends tonight at midnight. Also, before you go, check out my video from last night where I talk about a shoe company creating a shoe for Satan with 666 pairs that is now having the shoes suit off of them by Nike. I just wish to remind you that you are amazing. I really, really appreciate you being a member of my news community, and I'll see you on the next video.